everybody. It's so good to see you guys again. So I'm feeling super guilty about my book because there's no boys in it and there's no men. And I just had a mom buy a, one of my Fun Fab Faces book for her little boy and I feel terrible. This was just yesterday. So I'm on it and I'm going to do a male face right now. I'm going to, this is going to be a free video for anyone who's interested in. Um, and I'm going to try to make it quick but satisfying. And I'm also going to have free printables for some boy faces coloring pages available on my website, coolmamacrafts.com. So that um, anyone who wants to kind of augment the book that they already have, and if you want to have a little boy, if you're a girl who wants some practice doing other things besides uh, female faces, can go on there and just print them out and get started. All right. So the biggest difference, or I always start with my oval, correct? If anyone who has the book or has done my class knows that I always start with an oval. <clears throat> But here's the biggest difference with head shape with a man and a woman, which is that the woman's face, I'm gonna zoom in here a tiny bit, is the woman's face is <clears throat> genuinely always oval, always nice and soft, right? Especially down by the chin region, this is nice and soft. And the neck is thin. When I draw fun fab male faces, Generally speaking, the biggest difference is that my jaw is squared and my neck is thicker, okay? So here's my oval that I've drawn, but now I'm gonna add a little beef to it by, I'm gonna like square, literally square off the chin, okay? So the oval part, head, everyone has a round head, but men have these big strong not all of them, but for our sake, have these big square, square jaw lines. And also, much, much thicker necks, okay? See how thin hers is? If this was a male's neck, I would do it much fatter, thicker. All right, so this guy's tough already, and all I have is a neck and a square chin and some shoulders, okay? Now, as far as placing our features, that's exactly the same as it is on our females, as we, it is with our female faces, okay? So remember, we're going to draw a vertical line down the center, a horizontal, a horizontal line right across, okay? Do you remember our next step? We're going to slice this in half, and that's going to be our nose line, and again, we're going to slice this in half again. Okay, this is just like the book. <clears throat> and our ears, we pop in right here. Look, we have our little ear lines. Again, this is anatomically actually incorrect. But f when you're just drawing some fun fab faces, it's actually, it makes perfect visual sense to pop them in there. So that's what we're going to do. Our nose is down here. Now, men's noses are, <clears throat> when I draw them, um, this is a little wonky, it's a little cartoony, but I'm gonna do them much simpler than when I do my female noses, okay? This has a lot of, this is a little bit more grace and elegance to it, especially with the shading, and I'll do, I'll render the male's face in as well. But there's a lot more detail here, and we're gonna go less so on the, my male face, okay? As far as the mouth goes, the location is exactly the same, right? Everybody has a mouth. But instead of these curvy, fancy lips that can be quite big and luscious, we're going to keep the men's lips rather thin. <clears throat> okay? Like, super, super thin. Because I, I, don't, I don't really want to make big, luscious men's lips. Now, don't get me wrong. In person, I, I like some big, luscious men's lips. But when I'm drawing them, not so much. Okay? And then the eyes are going to be quite, again, quite small compared to that of, compared to that of a female face. If you notice, too, I'm kind of keeping... Uh, I'm keeping these open on either end and I'm not closing them up. This is sort of a stylistic choice and I tend to do it with my dudes and I don't even really know why. Okay. But I'm not doing all this detail with the tear duct and the eyelashes and the 
Sexy eyelids. All right, the dudes get none of that. Sorry, dudes. He looks a little grim. I might have to change him. He's like a nice, oh, he's so nice. Looks a little sad almost, all right? But he does look male. And then of course, if you want to, you can add this, um, the, the Adam's apple. Is that, whoop, sorry. It's this bulge in their neck. <clears throat> it's like the sign of a male. And then if you want to, you can draw some like stress lines because they have so much work to do. Hair is kind of the same as women's in that, again, you're going, if anyone knows my book, here's her headline right here. You totally can't see that, sorry. Okay, and her hairline goes up and over and down and across. Well, dudes also go down and across. Okay, but you're going to come in. They have shorter hair, and this is really fun to mess around with this kind of stuff. Oh, he looks bald. Let's give him some hair. He's pretty, he's too cute to not have so much hair. Not that there's anything wrong with being bald. Okay. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. I'm trying to keep it zoomed in. <clears throat> so, maybe he has this, like, super trendy, cute cut. Okay. But again, you start with a part, just like all the girls do. You start with a part, you go up and over, up and over, and across the face. The men is kind of the same. You have, you do have a part, but what's funny about the men's is a lot of times it's much more to the side than a woman's part is. Or at least I try to draw them kind of, or I end up drawing them stylistically like this. Okay, and he's kind of handsome actually. So those are the major differences, okay? <clears throat> he has smaller eyes. Simpler nose, thin mouth, Adam's apple, fat neck, square jaw. That's it in a nutshell. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to render this guy fully. And I'll probably just put this on fast forward for you. And you can watch this as you're at your leisure.